everybody yeah, guys last but not least. Same thing. That is just another game. Is it really just another game, bro? I mean, it is Alabama. The place says no. And just keep it real, dog. It is Alabama. Yeah. Uh, just another game. <laughs> and um, I, like I said, I've been here five years. I played Clemson ACC Championship. I played Notre Dame at home. And I played Florida. I played against LSU. And now I'm playing against Bama. So, you know, just a next stop sign in the road that we got to clear. Being well, a leader, being one of the leaders of this team, how do you make sure the other players, especially younger players, have that same assessment going into playing out of Man, leading by example, uh, showing them how to practice. And, you know, just doing the little things right. But when we get to, you know, the field, like I'm there physically. Like I'm in their face. Drop ball, tell them to do 10 push up, tell them to go back, uh, finish. Like, I don't know if you've seen it earlier, but he was all the way down at the 30. I said, catch the ball and you know, score. You know, practice like you're going to play the game, so it's going to translate. So I've been on the heavy. Like, any, any, uh, you know, Daniel and Jordan, any, any uh, conversations with them lately? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we in a little group chat, you know, uh, all the guys from Rod, you know, in a group chat. And we just talk, you know, just wish them good luck, you know, just pray together, like, you know, Injuries, things like that, but you know we keep it calm, collective, and just wait till we get to Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, was, you got bored of playing against them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I grew up with them, played with them, and against them all my life. So it's just the next step, next stage. So nobody in the country saw seventy-five thousand fans last year for obvious reasons because of yeah, the situation. But it's been a long time since you guys played against a crowd that big, or playing fr in front of a crowd that big, I should say. What, what will that mean from an emotional? I mean, not that this game needs any more. Not that you need any more electricity for this game, but what do you think that element is going to have to sound? Uh, it's excitement. You know, you need the fans to have a pump. I mean, so we're going to play a game. It's like playing a little league, you know, all you got is your parents on the sideline, and now you're on the big stage, you know, you got everybody in America here. So, to me, you know, it's just a game I've been playing since I was three years old. You said you've been here five years, so you see some pretty nice good times, some, some bad times. Uh, so what would you be never Just stay, and not, not just uh, you know in a bubble. What would it mean to the entire program in the long run if you could pull this off? Uh, we're going to pull it off. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it means a lot. It's huge. But you know, like I said, like you said, in the bubble, it means more to us because we're the one that's playing. We're the one that's putting the work in, and we're the ones going out there to perform it to, to get the victory. You know, eventually it's going to spread spread around, and it's going to feel good for everyone. What's the uh, the scouting report on, on battle and, and writing those DVDs? Known since, like you said, you were little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know since I was little. Jordan Battle, we went to Saint Elementary School. Dan Wright, we played for the same um, little league team and played, you know, like Pee Wee when he was like five years old. Jordan Battle was in the kindergarten when I was in first grade, and I grew up with his dad. We played basketball together, so you know, we it's a bond, like a family bond. Like call his mom, my mom can I stay tonight this weekend type thing. And, like we've just been close ever since, you know. Yeah, Alabama, and I'm at Miami, so. Battle in, in particular, you know, he's got like some first round, like yeah. popping up in the mock drafts and stuff like that. What makes him good? How have you kind of seen him grow over? Uh, you know, in my eyes, he's a ball hawk. Uh, he's fast. Uh, you know, from sideline to sideline, he's physical. And he's really he's really smart. Like, I was watching a lot of film on him, man. He, he know what he's doing. And he he studied his film. So he, he know what's coming. He should know what's coming. Your group, your Couple wide receiver questions. group, how much improvement do you think you guys have made since last season? And you know, how excited are you guys for this opportunity to go out and try and make plays against a defense like Alabama? Uh, just when I announced I was coming back, you know, my main, my main objective, my main goal you know, to, to bring my brothers with me. You know how, like, everyone see I took that leap mid-season towards the end, and I just want to bring my brothers with me. And ever since I came back, man, I really been just telling them it's all mental. It's all mental, you know, just do the little things right, you know, just practice, you know, just it's all mental. You get that down, when you get that mental part down, Pac-Man, your confidence up, you do whatever you want. Like, was there where you know, where you knew you had your mental part down? Like, I mean, you came, you come here as a teenager, you're, you're going to leave here as a grown man. I mean, I've seen, the kind of you've seen a lot in these five years. Of course, you grow a lot in these five years. Is there a moment where you realize that I'm starting to get it? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, I'll say when I took that heat last year, mid-season, I found myself. Throughout my co whole college career, you know, I'm staying true to myself, but I just lack of confidence. Like I said, it's all mental. So I finally found myself and, you know, started living where my feet was at. Michael Redding was on the last question. Yesterday, that was released. Mm -hmm. I guess, what have you seen from him you know, these past few weeks, whether it's been fan for 
have you been going back to spring? Uh, Mike Red? Yeah. Consistency. I've seen a lot of consistency. And he's a hard worker. He's a, lot of guy, he's a guy that don't get talked about, talked about a lot, but he come in and do everything right. He do all the little things right. He take everything from the classroom to the field and just waiting on his, his opportunity. Just to kind of follow up on that, what's been the difference between, has been the difference, the consistency between before and uh, last year and this year? He always been consistent, honestly. He always been consistent. But like last year, you know, contact tracing with COVID, so he's been out for a couple games. You really couldn't see him sprout, but, you know, he's, he's been consistent since last year. Great.